Let's learn how Terraform manages the implicit and the explicit dependencies between modules. We'll deep dive to understand what is the impact and the difference between these two options and we'll end up with best practices. Let's get started. We'll have three experiments. First experiment where I don't have any dependency between modules. So in this case, I have module one and module two and there are no dependency between them. The only dependency here is to the resource group that should be created first in order to create the key vault and the storage account within that resource group. So what will happen there is that when I run Terraform apply and view the logs, we can see that first it will create the resource group and then it will create all the resources within the two modules at the same time in parallel. Let's now run a second experiment where we have an explicit dependency on entire volume. This means that we are using here the depends on keyword from the second module in order to reference the first module. So what will happen when I apply this configuration? We'll see that from the logs of the Terraform apply command line, that first will create the resource group and then it will go to create the resources only from the first module, which is the key vault module. And it will wait until it will finish creating those resources and then it will go to create the resources from the second dependent module, which is the storage account module right here. So this means these two modules will be running sequ sequentially because I'm using an explicit dependency that is the depends on. Let's now see the third experiment where here I have an implicit dependency on a resource, on a specific resource from a module. So I still have here my resource group, my first module and my second module. What will change here is that my storage account name will reference an output value from the first module that is named key vault name. So this will tell Terraform that we have here an implicit dependency to a resource from the first module. So what will happen if I run Terraform apply for this configuration? First, we'll create the resource group and then it will create three resources at the same time, which are the key vault, the storage and the public IP. So actually it will create all the resources in parallel at the same time. And then because here my storage account depends on the key vault, it will wait until the until it finishes creation the key vault and then it will go to start creating the storage account. So the storage account here depends only on the key vault. It doesn't depend on all the resources from the previous module as we did have on the previous example. So this approach, you, I mean using the implicit dependency is way much more better because this will result into a reduced execution time and this means your Terraform configuration will run faster. And with this way, you just let Terraform decide on the, on the dependencies instead of ex specifying them explicitly. If you want to go deeper to understand the dependencies in Terraform modules, you have this GitHub repository that contains Terraform configuration with two modules and with all the three experiments that I showed in this video.